And I tell that to my players all the time. I said, this, this to me is not a great play. This, this is a great piece of art. And I told it a hundred times. In fact, there's not going to be any room for me in my casket. Because I tell them all the time when I see a play, I'm like, I, I, I'm going to cut, cut this play out. And this is gonna, they're going to bury me with this play. I'm proud of you for making this play. Well, I've said that so many times. I mean, I'd have to have a, a casket maybe the side of this room. But I, I've got so much appreciation for proper technique, great skill, and great effort that what I see is art. And laugh if you will, but that's what I see when, when I see guys make a play on the flank, make an interception, recover a fumble, make a great tackle. I mean, to me, that's it's just a, a marvelous, marvelous event. I get the opportunity to coach tight ends at, at one of the greatest uh, schools for tight ends in the country. And you know, you don't have to go very far. You walk in our meeting room, and you see Jonathan Hayes, you see Dallas Clark, Brandon Myers, Tony Moyaki, C.J. Fedorowicz, just just to name a few of guys that have played here, played this position at this university. And there's a reason, you know, around the country, it's known as tight end U. And I get the opportunity to coach one of the best positions at one, at the greatest university in the country, in my opinion. So it's you know, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, it's been an intense off season. Uh, we've pushed each other each and every day. Um, we're definitely not complacent, and uh, we're ready to move forward and get on to this year. First day of spring ball, you know, everyone was flying around, and especially the first day of pads, Saturday, and you know, we had that coaching clinic, so it was a, everyone was flying around, having a great time. You know, I mean, obviously, uh, Jake's decided to transfer. You know, and I wish the best for him because uh, you know we are friends and stuff, but. You know, he decided to part ways, and uh, you know, right now it's you know it's, it's become my team. So I'm I'm taking that leadership role, and you know, taking that, and it's you know, it's, in some ways it's easier to lead when when you're not you know trying to split reps and do all this stuff. So it's you know I I, I like it. So what's it been like? I mean, just knowing that you're the guy now. Um, you know, uh, you know, uh, a little bit has changed. Uh, the fact that he's not here, like I said, you get more reps, and it's not like. You know we're splitting reps and doing this, so it, you know it's it's easier to lead in some ways, but a lot of ways I'm just gonna try to do the same I was doing. Um, you know I got teammates respect and the coaches respect, so just keep working hard and uh, trying to lead this team even better. So he has a little zip to it. He can he can throw it pretty deep, um, effortless. So I mean, whenever he uh, he has pressure, he can just throw that throw it up and give the receivers a chance, and that's what I like about him.